G'day everybody. Now today um, I saw on Dave Stanton's um, site, um, his live site, uh, that um, somebody had mentioned that, I think it was even Dave as a matter of fact, that he loves his, uh, he loves his little laser light, which is obviously the laser light that comes from, you know, the, the uh, CapEx saw. Now, as you can see, the laser light there is a bit sort of sketchy. Look, it's sort of half there, it's half not there. Maybe a few people might forget to do this, but I'll just sort of show you now. See right there, there's a little screw. If you just, first of all, turn the machine off, unplug it, I should say. Now, if you just unturn this a little bit, just a couple of turn little turns, you don't have to unscrew it right out. Look, you saw up, round under here, is your lens cover which covers your laser light and that gets dust on it and that affects your laser light uh, beam um, as such so i'll just zoom back a bit so what you just do is grab your finger under there um sorry push down push forward like and as you see it just pops out you can see there's a, there's a fair bit of dust in there so i haven't done it for a while now give it a bit of a give it, give it Give it a bit of a clean down with a nice rag. Maybe uh, I'll possibly use a paintbrush. If I can find a paintbrush wherever I've got a paintbrush hanging around. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a paintbrush hanging around, which doesn't have oil on it. So I'll just give it a bit of a clean down. Give it just a bit of a clean down with the rag. Just make sure there's no more pretty much dust. I don't think you have to be too fussy, just as long as it's basically, it's basically clean again as such. Now, it's just a matter of putting it back in the same way. So you just slip that round. There's, some, there's two little slots that this slides up. This needs to be facing outwards. And you just push it up and with your little finger underneath here, there's a little indent there for your finger. Push it right in, lift it up, you hear a click. Then just a matter of just give it a little snug it up, just a little bit snug it up. And there you go, it's in. And now, we'll put, plug it back in, and we'll see how we go now. Turn back on the laser, and we'll go down to where the laser is, a little bit better. So we'll zoom in as best we can. There. And as you can see now, there's more visible laser than it was sharper than what was before. Now, I must admit, setting these lasers can be a little bit difficult, i found. You've got four little screws up the top, which you can see, that's not even really coming out that well in the video, but it is actually sharp um, where I'm seeing it. Um, as, as you can see, see the lasers just grazing on the edge of the inside of those um, uh, tungsten and tips here. So I think I need to adjust a little fraction. Because as you see it comes down, see as it actually grazes against those teeth, I think that's not set correctly. So I really need to sort of set it. But um, I just wanted to pinpoint the fact that um, sometimes maybe people have forgotten to, oh sorry, people have forgotten to uh, clean their lens cover and you probably find a huge big difference. So I think everyone out there who's got a CapEx should go to their workshop tomorrow give that a try and just see, <laughs> see, see who's got the most, let's see who's got the most dust in theirs. <laughs> okay, um, I'm sorry about uh, my quality of my videos, nothing as slick as my mate Dave, um, but then I'm just really trying to give some information. Okay, see ya, have a nice day.